This has to get out. People have to know. To be honest with you, I was out of commission for about four or five days there. So sick with this information. Terrified for my family. But my family has convinced me and I'm convinced that I have to get this information out. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. And my source in Washington, D.C., he is also very supportive of this. He wants the information out. So that's exactly what I'm doing, and I need this to go viral. I need people to get this and spread this around. I, honestly, it's for selfish reasons, for the safety of my family. So what I'm revealing here is classified. It is highly classified. It is top secret. I'm certain that I'm violating certain national security laws by even revealing this, the documents I have in my possession uh, are a violation, I'm sure, of national security law. Now, obviously, I've made copies of these documents. I've got them placed in a, in a, a very secure locations, and I've sent them to very trusted individuals. So on that end, uh, the documents are going to get out no matter what happens to me. If anybody hurts my family, these documents will be immediately released. Because I was told something from one of my sources last week, and he told me something that is just absolutely terrifying. It made me absolutely sick to my stomach as he described to me a very, very highly classified government project that is ongoing and that affects every man, woman, and child in this country. People need to know what is going on. He also sent me some documents, he faxed them to me, that verify everything he said these documents are classified material. There are some white papers from the Department of Defense, from the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, known as DARPA, also from Naval Intelligence. There's also a document from the CIA. And I've looked over them, and I've, I've, I've familiarized myself with them very, very carefully over the past few days while I'm trying to recover. This information needs to be released to the public. And what, what that information is, is this. In 1995, our government commissioned a project to place into the public water supply into the into the public food distribution system a a very small device a, a nano sized device with a microprocessor is an electronic device and it is about the size of one or two grains of sand it 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 took years to develop, but they developed it, they've perfected the technology, they've tested it. And as of today, according to their estimates, 85% of the population has one of these devices inside of their bodies. Now these, you could say you're infected in other words. You have been infected with one of these devices. They're incredibly small. They can barely be seen with the naked eye. They have to be removed from the medium that they are suspended in. It could be food. It could be water. But if you take it out and if you put it on a table, preferably a, a black surface, and you look at it, it you're going to be able to see it. It's very hard. It's opaque. But let me put it this way. You'd never know it was there. If you've consumed it, which you probably have, as I said, 87% of the population has one of these in their bodies, right, as presently, as, as the military has estimated. <sighs> okay, so what is it? Why did the military develop 
this device and put it in the water supply and try to basically infect the entire U.S. population with it. Well, it's a very simple device, folks. It is designed to kill you. It is designed to terminate you. That's what it does. It's very simple. It doesn't really do anything else. Well, how does it kill you? It goes something like this. It is, again, the size of a grain of sand or so, a little bit bigger. It is a nano device that contains a microprocessor, contains a receiver, and it, rec it can receive a uh, transmission, radio transmission. Once it receives this radio transmission, which is very specific, and can only, it's, it's something, it's a, let me put it this way, it is a frequency that is only our military uses and only knows about. It's not going to just be randomly activated while you're walking down the street. Uh, so it's activated by this signal. Now how do they do it? Well, their cell towers cover 98% of this country in terms of coverage. Cell towers, radio towers. In addition to that, our military has uh, spent about five years setting up proprietary system, excuse me, that of coverage, not in addition to the cell towers. So what they've done in any large population center, they have installed transmitters, uh, very small, and they're in strategic locations, and they cover every block of every large city and even small cities, and this has been set up over the past five years. The reason they want to do that is they want to be able to target these populations very specifically in a very small locality, okay? Now, what do these devices do? Okay, they kill you. How do they do it? I don't know fully, but what they do is it, it induces flu-like symptoms in the body. It causes the body to release antibodies that, in addition to causing flu-like symptoms, it will cause your body to produce antibodies that are uh, indicative of a flu uh, virus infection. You will die within 10 to 12 days. The effectiveness is what they call it in their documents is 98 percent. That means 98 percent of people with which this device is implanted or uh, they are infected with this device. Once it is activated with the radio signal 98 percent of people are dead within 10 to 12 days. 2% recover. And the recovery reasons are not fully known. It is uh, often outside influences. It could be uh, a malfunction of the device. Right now our military wants to get it to 99%. It's at 98 right now. Basically, if this device has been activated in a population area, let's say they use a cell tower to send a signal out. You're going to see everybody around you, including yourself, sick with a very severe case of what appears to be the flu. You'll go to the doctor. They won't be able to help you. It will continue to get progressively worse. Your, your lungs are going to fill up with fluid. In fact, that's going to be a symptom that will be very pronounced in all of these cases, and there's a reason for that. That is because the device, it enters the brain and it activates certain autoimmune responses that are indicative of a severe case of the flu. And this response is sort of like a runaway nuclear chain reaction. In other words, it causes your body to just absolutely melt down. So again it's very effective it has been shown to work in 98 percent of the cases and most of the time it just looks like a very bad case of the flu 
couple things I wanted to address before I go. Again, with this information, it's of the highest order of urgency. I hope you share it with family and friends. I hope I'm going to be releasing these documents. Uh, my source has instructed me to do it. He is in the process of retiring. He is also in the process of leaving the country. And he, for his safety, he would like me to hold on to the documents until he gives me the go-ahead and he leaves the country. Because he is certain that he will be killed uh, if the documents come out. He feels they already know who he is, or at least they're getting close. So he is making arrangements for his own safety, and I respect that. But I've got the documents, and I've spread it around to friends. And it's, no matter what happens to us, it's going to come out. Uh, I've had just people that are saying really terrible things about me. They're attacking me. It's just vicious. I've never experienced this. I'm a lawyer. I'm used to this stuff, but not on this level of it. It's just, what I was told from my source is just simply this. They're what are called shills. Shills are these paid vermin that are paid by our government. could be the NSA, it could be the CIA, it could be the Obama administration for all we know. It could be any anybody who wants to push an agenda. So these people will just come out of the woodwork and they will attack whistleblowers like myself and they will just rip us apart and they'll post things on the internet and they'll, they'll leave comments and they'll, they'll just relentless and they try to discredit you. So I've been told that's what's going on and I believe it because I've seen it. There, these people are just vermin. They are just the lowest of the low they're crawling out from their rocks to attack me. So I just felt I need to address that. It, it's really concerning me because I'm in the possession of classified documents. Uh, I've come across information here from my sources. So important. People have to know about this. They have to hear about this. And we've got to figure out a way to fight it. Because this stuff's been put in the water supply, it's in our bodies, and they can activate it any time with a drone, with with a radio signal, with cell towers, they can activate it, and they can kill an entire city, they can kill an entire town, they could kill a few people in an apartment complex with this flu outbreak. You won't even really be suspicious of it. It will just be a severe flu outbreak. <sighs>